Micturition is another term for urination. This video will discuss the process of micturition. The micturition process has an involuntary reflex and also a voluntary control. In the involuntary micturition reflex, stretch receptors that are located within the wall of the bladder signal the spinal cord. This is done when the stretch receptors are stretched to hold 200 milliliters or more of urine. The stretch receptors then transmit afferent signals to the spinal cord. Efferent signals then return to the bladder from the spinal cord. This is done through the parasympathetic fibers in the pelvic nerve. The efferent signals then excite the detrusor muscle and relaxes the internal urethral sphincter. This is when urine is voided involuntarily. Babies embrace their involuntary micturition reflex because their brain does not prohibit it. Involuntary micturition the micturition center within the pons receives a signal from the stretch receptors in the bladder. If the brain says it's okay to urinate, the pons returns the signal to the spinal interneurons. This excites the detrusor muscle and relaxes the internal urethral sphincter. Urine is then voided. If the brain says it's not okay to urinate, signals from the cerebrum excite the spinal interneurons. The external urethral sphincter then stays contracted. When it then becomes okay to urinate, sacral neurons are inhibited by signals from the cerebrum. The external urethral sphincter then relaxes and urine is released.